Nothing is really surprising in the world of broadcast anymore. Even popular people get the boot. Witness NESN's Don Orsillo. But when Fox 25 announced this week its marquee anchor, Maria Stefanos, is leaving, a collective huh could be heard around the region. This is Fox 25 News at 10. It's hard to even remember Fox 25 before Maria Stefanos. I can't even believe it's been 18 years here at Fox 25. Last night, Stefanos told viewers what the Twitterati had already reported. She is leaving the station. I've decided that it's the right time for me to move on and pursue other opportunities. Ah, the old chance at other opportunities. But as the Boston Herald reported, there's more to the story. Stefanos had been tight with her previous owners, Fox Corporate. But once Cox Media Group took over, things began to change. And apparently, she was not happy. Right. Now on to the news. But Maria, you are the news. As many of her current and former colleagues tweeted, Maria has a huge following. One observer going so far as to say it could cost Fox 25 a precipitous ratings drop. That means it's true talent doesn't carry the cachet it did in the days of Chet and Nat. But like those two, Maria is a one-name talent, making her likely to pursue that other opportunity at another local TV station. I don't have any inside knowledge of this, no insight, insight, but my gut is, and Dan and I agree on this, she quit that there were enough uh, elements leading to some frustration about new management, about new stylistic things, about new hires, about people who were departing, about demands, about story length and content and all that stuff, that she said, no, I'm not doing it anymore. She is the face of Fox News. There's no question. No, I couldn't even remember. I mean, I watch it, but I often forget her partner's name, Mark Ockerbloom. It's just, it's not there for me. She's, she's the instant person. I happen to agree. I think it's going to cost them something in viewers. And I also think that there are other local stations in town clamoring to sign her up. Yeah, I'll predict right now that the Fox 25 ratings are going to drop in our house. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and I'm not saying I would never watch them yeah. again, but she was, yeah. you know, she was kind of the, mm -hmm. the face of the station and she was one of the reasons that you watched. One of the things that I always liked about Fox 25 was that it had a very local feel mm -hmm. to it. They did not hire people who had to be taught how to say Worcester. Quincy, yeah. Uh, and, and, and Maria Stefanos was kind of emblematic mm -hmm. of that. And uh, I just think it's a shame that she's leaving, and I hope she does pop up on another local station. Yeah, I mean, it's tough when you have somebody that is so identifiable with the station and has so much personality. And we all know that personality holds so much when you're talking about local news. And, you know, for somebody who, who did such great reporting around the marathon bombing, who was there, you know, oh, and, and sort of flipped great. the switch basically from being a bystander yeah. to being a journalist, uh, I think that it's definitely a big loss. But I, I also have to say, I think she deserves so many points for basically doing it on her own terms, you know, mm -hmm. before things could have yep. taken a turn one way or the other. Yeah, that's true. I have no inside knowledge of what happened there, but to sort of say, you know what, I'm done, I've had a good run mm -hmm. here, and I'm going to leave on a, on a high note, yep. I, I have to agree with that. Mm -hmm. I think the interesting thing to watch here is what Cox Media does to mm -hmm. replace yes. her. They, they have lost uh, the face of a franchise here. I agree with all that you've said. I don't have any insight into this. I fully expect that Maria will either end up with Fox the Network or she'll, do, she'll end up mm -hmm. um, with a prominent place somewhere else. She's just too good as a journalist. But, but I think, I, I, I think your, your, uh, your, your guess here is about right, is that there was a collision mm -hmm. of journalistic mm -hmm. uh, values or style. And uh, I fully, uh, I would suspect that Cox Media has a template oh, that they want to fit mm -hmm. everybody into. <laughs> everybody she does, didn't yeah. quite fit, and um, and to I think to their regret, mm. they'll find out that they've lost somebody. Mm. Well, that is known. They they are a very much a consultant station, right. so that's that's known about them. I did the huh because I said that can't be right <laughs> when I when I, when I, I first heard about it because it seems so bizarre um, to want to lose somebody that has a community mm -hmm. connection and is also respected in in the field that she's in. So no doubt someone else will, will pick her up. I am curious to see what follows, but their consultancy has told them, charge ahead, do what we do every, in every other market, and it's worked out for them. So maybe they know something we don't know. We'll check back in. Yeah. <laughs>